Never going to get through the sermon today, but I've got to leave this one thing with you. Do you know how important you are in God's master plan? Do you know today as a Christian, do you know who you really are? You're not somebody that just fills a seat in some church somewhere. You're somebody that God has called out. God has chosen. God has given himself as a portion to. God has a plan for to use. We must be done with the days of just occupying space and time. This is the day for you and for Christians like you to rise up. This is the day to be a real Christian. To say yes to Jesus. To not only revel in what he's done with his cross, but to pick up the cross, the piece of his own cross that he gave you and begin to carry that cross every day. Say, Jesus, what is it that you will have for me today? What is it that you, the directives that you want to give to me today? Jesus, what is it you want to do through my church? See, no more just picking and choosing and floating and doing what you want when you want. That hour is past. This is an hour where God is saying, no, I'm talking to you. This is not an hour where we're trying to make people forget that the preacher's talking to them. I kind of like these lights better in here because I can't really completely see you. I can only just see your outline, but I can't really look into the depths of your eyes because most of the time in the church, I found that Christians get nervous when the preacher looks in their eyes. And some of the more dangerous Christians use it as an opportunity to turn around and attack the preacher. He was preaching about me in the pulpit. I got news for you. Come to Connections Church. The preacher's always preaching about you in the pulpit. Always looking at you. Not in a judgmental way. Not in a condescending way. In the way that says, hey, you are called to be a difference. Rise up, get up. What are you doing? Wake up. You're the call of the Lord. You're the mighty of God. You're the Moses of your hour. Amen. Come on, somebody's got to come and to call. Somebody in Newtown is waiting for a church with a voice. What a great opportunity that you have in this church. It has nothing to do with me. Man, every church doesn't get the opportunity to go on TBN and to be a voice. I want to clue you into something. I don't know how much they'll let me or God will use me. I'm not just going on TBN to talk to their customers. I'm going on TBN to talk to them. Amen. I'm here to talk to you. God is saying something to you, not someone else out in a vast audience somewhere else. I am here to talk to you because God is here today to talk to you. Man, we have to come back to the place. Jesus was pleading with us in the book of Revelation. Come back to the place where you can hear the word of the Lord again. 